It was a beautiful summer day in the land of hands. Very hot and sunny. Why don't we swim in the river to cool down, said Bungle. But the river was low. Not much water to swim in. Garby had an idea. Let's make a dam. They collected rocks. And they collected sticks. <laughs> Silly Bungle, we need bigger things than that, said Garby. I know where there's a log, said Bungle. You can't lift that all by yourself, Bungle. I'll get the other end. And soon their dam was finished, and the blocked part of the river filled up with water. Time for a swim. Swimming was lots of fun, but on their way home, they noticed everything looked very brown and dry. And everybody at home was very thirsty. Mom and Dad explained that the river had dried up. There was no more water. Bungle and Garby knew what they had to do. We've got to get rid of this dam, said Garby. Bungle remembered his little stick. Now the river would flow. And there was water for everyone. Bungle and Garby were happy that everyone had enough to drink. And they learned that the river was not just for them to play in. The water was for everyone. Terrell, you found a bird feeder. What do birds eat, Grandma? Birds in the wild look for seeds, flowers, and even bugs to eat. But sometimes it's hard for them to find food. So humans put bird seed in bird feeders and hang them in their yards. If you like to watch birds, it's a great way to get a close-up look. Now it's time to sit on the swing. To hear it, too, what would it be? A theater story is just a thing. Grandma, will you tell me a story? Hmm. Let's see. Suzette the little sparrow lived in the trees near a lovely elderly lady. The lady had placed a bird feeder in the trees near her house. The problem was that even though there was plenty of food, all the birds fought over the feeder. Why can't we all get along? Suzette would chirp. 
One day, the angry chirping and cawing was particularly bad. She's going to stop feeding us if we don't stop all the fighting, chirped the little bird. Well, if the blue jays weren't so rude, peeped the chickadees. The crows are so noisy, fussed the blue jays. Yeah, while well, you jays, you jays spill seeds all over the place, retorted the black crow angrily. Stop it, cried Suzette. I have an idea. The crows are the biggest and like early mornings. Why don't they eat first? Then the blue jays can eat when they get up. The sparrows like the nuts and the middle-sized seeds. And the chickadees like the little ones underneath. If we all take our turn, we won't have to fight. Everyone agreed. And from that day on, all the birds lived happily in the trees, playing and eating without all the fighting. That was a good story, Grandma. Thank you. You're welcome. Grandma Ella and me, Terrell, head back to the house for tea. It's time for us to go as well, but we'll be back, you'll see. <laughs> This is Alexis. She's five years old, and that's Monty. Monty's a cat, and he's Alexis's new pet. Would you like to learn how to take care of your new pet, Alexis? Me do, me do. Me do, me do. This is Luna. Me do is allowed to pet Luna. He knows you should never pet dogs you don't know. Keep your fingers open and pet them gently. From the back of their head to their tail. I think he likes it. Me do. Me do, you do. Sherelle is four years old. She's old enough to brush the puppy's coat. Come here, Luna. You use a special brush for animals fur. Brush down gently. Never brush an animal's face. He won't like that. Me do, we do, now you do. When you're as big as Jeffrey, you can feed your pet. First, make sure their bowls are nice and clean. One bowl is for water, and the other one is for food. Use a measuring cup, pour the food in the food bowl, and an adult will show you how much. Dogs and cats need fresh water every day. Wow, he looks hungry. Me do, we do, you do. Okay, Alexis, now you know how to take care of your pet. And I know a song for you. Having a pet is such a joy, they can be your very best friend. Remember, a pet is not a toy, treat them kindly beginning to end. You must be gentle when you pet your little buddy's fur. Pet only the back and don't forget, if you're nice, maybe he'll purr. You did it! Do it now, you do it too. Good puppy.
to it. Today we're picking plums. No, nah, not climbing trees. We're playing marbles. What are you playing? How about marbles? Yay! Some marbles are called cat's eyes. Yuck! The big marbles are called shooters. That's a target. You have to hit the small marbles with the big ones. Gonna draw a line. First, they have to here. decide who goes first. Here. Let's see how. Who goes first by the line? How do we know who goes first? Whichever marble is closest to the line goes first. Let's watch. Shoot a marble. First thing you have to do is curl your fingers. Put your thumb behind your pointer finger. Try flicking the marble. Ben will go first. Kneel down to flick your marbles. Aaliyah's really sizing up the leg line. Oh, but she's really off target. Oh, oh, oh! Ben shoots. He scores! What an eagle eye Ben is. He gets to keep any marble he hits. And he gets to go again. marbles, line up all your targets on the line and use your shooter to hit them. Whatever marbles you hit, you keep. Whoever has the most marbles at the end of the game wins. Play safe! Are you ready to go? Poor Foster, he never gets to join in any of the fun. Why? How? Cat? Dog? Big brown cow? Who's on the case? Hey, Who's on the case? Hey, Who's on the case? Buzz, hey, hey, look, it's a little barn cat. Come here. Come here. Isn't she so cute? I was just hanging out here on the farm, and this cat came by and just started playing with me. Come on, get it. They are so cute. I guess the farmers keep them around to maybe take care of the mice, but she is so soft and so sweet. Oh, Buzz, don't you want to just squeeze her? Yes, baby, you're so cute. Oh, she's starting to purr. What an angel. Oh. Okay, well, you guys stay here with Buzz, and I'll go answer the phone. You stay right here. I'll be right back. Stay, kitty. Hold on, Lou. Hey. Here's your daughter. Were you and Buzz busy? Hmm? No, we were just for a walk. Really? Yeah. Lovely. Uh, this just in. Watch. Why do goats have beards? Do you think you could find a goat and find the answers? Yeah, we could find that out. That's no problem. Really? No, we'll totally figure it out and we'll let you know as soon as we do. Good luck. All right, Lou. See you later. <laughs> All right, Buzz. Let's cruise. <laughs> Buzz here on location with Pet Squad and my very good friend Thelma. Hi, Thelma. Now, Thelma is a goat, and as you can see, she has a beard. Now, you would think that only the boy goats have beards, kind of like, you know, our dads have beards, but our moms don't. But with goats, some of them have beards and some of them don't. It doesn't matter if they're a boy or a girl. It's kind of like how you might be born with brown hair and someone else is born with blonde hair. It's just kind of the way they're made. And this is the mom. Where's mom? Don't worry, I'll find her, Thelma. Mom, there she is. See, mom has a beard just like her baby daughter, Thelma. It's kind of inherited, like brown eyes, blue eyes. But I have to tell you, they are so cute. I'm going to go back and report to Lou. You can hang out with the goats. <laughs> Lou, it was 
is so much fun. It looks like fun. I love those goats and their little beards. I know. I wish you could have been there, but we can always go back. Well, well done. You and Buzz did a great job. Well done. Totally. But for now, this case is closed. Let's squad! Hi, I'm Book Girl, and this is my special book, and I want it to be your special book too. So come on in. It's story time! It's story time! And it's almost lunchtime, and I am ready to tell a story. But I am getting kind of hungry. Do you have any idea where my lunch is at, Clarence? No, sorry, book girl. Hmm. What about you, mailbox? No, sorry. Huh. Doorbell? Well, I think it might be above me. Check the drawer. Look, look. Okay, thanks, doorbell. Let's have a seat. It's, it is there. <laughs> And it reminds me of a really good story to tell about a little boy and his lunch. That sounds like a funny story. I like stories about food. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Me too, Clarence. So, get comfy, find your listening spot, and let's have some fun. Once upon a time, there was a little boy named Diego. Diego had just started school. And one of his favorite things about starting school was that he got to bring his lunch every day. He would look inside, and there it was, another cheese sandwich. Every day a cheese sandwich. He liked the bread, that was okay. He liked the cheese, that was okay. But you put the two together, and well, so he put ketchup on it, yuck. And then he put relish on it, yuck. Then he put ketchup, relish, and vinegar on it. Double yuck. Mm-hmm. So Diego decided to never eat another cheese sandwich ever, ever again. And he walked away and went to his classroom. But then, his stomach, it started to rumble. And grumble. And bumble. And he thought, I'm hungry. I think I might just have a little tiny weedy bite of my cheese sandwich so he went back to the lunchroom and there was a little girl nibbling away on his sandwich why would you want to eat that said Diego it's cheese I like cheese sandwiches they're way better than the peanut butter and jelly sandwiches I get said the girl peanut butter and jelly I love peanut butter and jelly said Diego and that was that. From that day on, Diego ate peanut butter and jelly, and the little girl ate cheese, and they were both as happy as happy can be. The end. Oh, Clarence, <laughs> talking about all those sandwiches made me really hungry for mine. You want a bite? No thanks, book girl. I like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, but that sure was a great story. Thanks, Clarence. Uh-oh, book girl, time to go. But don't worry, guys, because we'll be back. That's right. We will see you next, once upon a time, right here in my special book. Bye-bye. be able to play the fiddle. You know, David, there is a magic way to play the fiddle. What's that? Rhyme a diddle time. I think Boomy knows. Sing the song about the woman who played on the fiddle, and her name it rhymes with shaker. 
Her name sounds like someone who makes bread and cakes. Sing the song about old Mrs. O old Mrs. Faker. I love this song. <laughs> oh, David, it's old Mrs. Baker. Try singing this song. It might help with your fiddle playing. Old Mrs. Baker had a little cat, and its name was Kitty Ayo. She sang that cat a kitty cat song while they're playing on the fiddle Ayo. And that little kitty would sing along to old Mrs. Baker's fiddling song. The kitty went meow, meow, meow middle eye, playing on the fiddle Ayo. The birdie went tweet, tweet, fiddle eye. Kitty went meow, meow, meow middle eye, playing, playing on the fiddle eye, oh. Oh, tidy oh, playing on the fiddle eye, fiddle eye, oh. Oh, tidy oh, playing on the fiddle eye, oh. Old Mrs. Baker had a little mouse, its name was Mousy Eye, oh. Sang that mouse a teeny mouse song while playing on the fiddle eye, oh. That little mouse would sing along to old Mrs. Baker's fiddling song. The mouse went squeak, squeak, squiddle eye. The bird went tweet, tweet, squiddle eye. The kitty went meow, meow, middle eye. Playing on the fiddle, oh, tidy-o. Playing on the fiddle, oh, tidy-o. Playing on the fiddle, oh, tidy-o. You know, I don't understand one thing. Was it Mrs. Baker playing the fiddle or the animals? Well, no, David, it was Mrs. Baker playing the fiddle. But speaking of the animals, there's one more that you haven't heard about yet. Oh, Mrs. Baker had an alligator and its name was Gator I.O. Sang an alligator, a kitty gator song while playing on the fiddle I.O. And that alligator wouldn't sing along. He went chomp, chomp, go. And that's the end of this song. Oh, that, that's horrible. You mean the alligator ate up all those little animals? No, he ate the alligator food that Mrs. Baker made for him. <laughs> oh. Don't worry, David. <laughs> Let's see if it worked. Oh, yeah, you're fiddle playing. <clears throat> Sorry. Don't talk about me as if I wasn't there. I like special things. We always do the same. Let me try. Don't get mad if I make a mistake. Spend time just with me. Talk to me. Play with me. Read to me. I'm not too old for hug. Always kiss me goodnight. And we throw Roosevelt into the pot. 
To dance with ballerina and soldier. Ballerina and soldier, could you show us a promenade for two? Ah. Watch how soldier leads the ballerina across. Oh. Very graceful. Lovely. Could we see that one more time? Thank you for that lovely promenade for two. Uh, thank you. Animal fun with us with Punky. That's a camel, Osbert Flunky. Have fun riding, Osbert Plunky. 